how to install TWRP recovery on the POCO X3 Pro and root it. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install TWRP recovery on the POCO X3 Pro and root it. So here it is. I do have the global version of the POCO X3 Pro running MIUI 12 based on Android 11. However, the process will work on the Indian variant. In fact, it will work on all variants of the POCO X3 Pro. So what is the prerequisite for this video? Well, for starters, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. How do you do that? We have a separate video for that, which can be found in the description of the video. The next thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not do this process if your battery is at 10 or 20 percent. Also make sure you have an active internet connection on your device. Then you also need access to a computer, preferably an Intel computer. And in case you have an AMD computer, the drivers do not work. We do have another fix for that which you can try and all the files including the drivers can be found in the description of the video another question which i will get a lot is can this be done without a computer well yes you can do it without a computer but then you would need another phone so how do you do it with another phone we do have a video showing you how to execute fastboot commands using another phone and that video can be found in the description of this one as well first thing we need to do is you need to go into settings and then you will go into password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because in case we need to perform a format data or a factory reset in that case you won't have to sign in back to your accounts and all those things you can of course sign back in once your device is rooted and you have successfully installed twrp next thing we will do is we will go into the website which is for magisk which is again linked in the description of the video this is the official page of magisk a github page and as you can see the latest version of magisk at the time of recording this video is 23.0 so we will tap on assets and the file which we are interested in is the magisk version 23.0 apk tap on it and select okay so the file has been downloaded successfully and now if i open the file manager application and let me change the view a little bit to the folder view and then if i go into download you will see this is where the apk is now before we proceed there is an important thing i would like to mention and that is the twrp recovery which we are using that does not support encryption if you boot into it using the volume key buttons so once you flash it you won't be able to access your internal storage if you use fast boot boot then you can access your internal storage and this problem is only on miui if you are on miui want to stay encrypted and want to flash files either you have to fast boot boot or you can use a usb otg device and this thing might change down the line as in when a new build of twrp is released and they figure out the issue with miui and android 11 and in that case i will of course update the link in the description to the latest twrp which works and mention it in the description and in the pinned comment as well so make sure that you do read the description and the pinned comment on this video another thing which i will get asked a lot is are we going to have data loss so until and unless you perform a format data or a factory reset from twrp you won't have data loss but anyways let us go ahead and take two pictures i know they might be the same but here are two pictures which we just took next thing we need to do is we need to boot into fast boot mode so for starters turn off your device and once the device is turned off press and hold volume down and power button at the same time till you see the fast boot logo and there it is we have successfully booted into fast boot mode at this point we need to connect your device to the computer using a usb cable and those of you 
who have issues with drivers we do have the drivers linked in the description of this video as well all you need to do is unzip the file and then execute it as an administrator and reboot your computer and you should be good to go so here we are on the computer this here is your fast boot file this is a zip file which we downloaded from the official android developer website i do recommend that you use official websites and do not use other shady websites then you need twrp recovery now this is the image file and it is by nebrasi and the name is hyphen one do note this is the latest at the time of recording this video if and when a new version is released i will change the link so the name might not be the same or i might point you to the official website of twrp in case we get official builds of twrp for the poco x3 pro anyways first up we need to unzip the adb fastboot or platform tools so i do have winrar installed you can use any application which will let you unzip files so i just right selected the file right click on it and say extract here now once the file was extracted you see we have a new folder called platform tools if i go inside the folder here and i have adb and i also have fastboot so the next thing we need to do is we will go back to our main folder and before i forget i do recommend that the folder names you have make sure they do not have any spaces so as you can see i have poco rom poco x3 pro these are the folder names and they have no spaces because sometimes spaces do interfere with the process anyways next thing we need to do is we need to move this twrp image file to the platform tools folder and now if you go inside the platform tools folder you will see you have adb in the same folder then you also have fastboot in the same folder and you also have the twrp image file this is a very important thing to note you should have all the things that is the twrp image file and your fastboot inside the same folder it is just going to make your life easier next thing let us go ahead and rename the twrp file so as you can see it is saying twrp a version number and the name of the developer let us just name it twrp hyphen x3 pro and then press the enter key so we just rename the file because it makes our life easier now those of you who have enabled extension names keep the extension name as dot img for me in windows i have not enabled the extension names so it is not showing it now once we have renamed the file next thing we need to do is we need to go to command prompt so all you need to do is tap on this address bar type in cmd and then press the enter key and bam there it is you can see we have command prompt which has now opened in the same path so it is poco rom poco x3 pro and platform tools now that we are on the command prompt first command we are going to enter is dir space slash p press the enter key and there it is you can see we have fast boot here and then we also have twrp hyphen x3 pro do note the extension is dot img i did tell you that i have not enabled viewing the extensions so again make sure that the extension or note down the file name first command we need to execute is to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not so the command for that is fast boot devices now once you have entered the command press the enter key and there it is you can see our device is being detected in fast boot mode the next command is to flash twrp recovery onto the poco x3 pro so the command for that is fast boot flash recovery and name of the file in this case name of the file is twrp hyphen x3 pro dot img so there it is we have entered the command fastboot flash recovery name of the file which is twrp hyphen x3 pro dot img and then press the enter key so we have successfully flashed twrp recovery onto our x3 pro next thing we need to do is we need to boot into this twrp recovery which we have just flashed so the command for that is fastboot 
boot and name of the file and there it is we have entered the command fastboot boot name of the file in this case twrp-x3pro.img once you press the enter key the phone should boot into twrp recovery so let me go ahead and press the enter key and there it is you can see our phone just rebooted and in a few moments we should be able to see the team win screen there it is team win in the building and now we are booting into twrp recovery there it is we have successfully booted into twrp recovery at this point feel free to disconnect your device from the computer or the phone in case you are using another smartphone and we do not need the computer or the phone any longer so here it is we are on the home screen of twrp if you're going to install you will see this is our internal storage as i mentioned earlier this is only visible if you fast boot boot into the rom once you have flashed the recovery and you boot into it using the volume and power button combination you won't see your internal storage and that is a known issue which might be fixed down the line anyways for now all we need to do is flash magisk so where was magisk download select the apk and yes you do not have to rename it to dot zip because twrp has added support for magisk to be flashed as an apk and before you ask me can you flash any other application as an apk no it is only for magisk and then swipe to confirm flash and there it is magisk was flashed without any errors tap on the home button go into reboot and select system and there it is we do have the miui boot animation on our poco x3 pro which means we are booting into miui 12 based on android 11 and we have booted into android we can unlock our device go into settings and about phone here it is 12.0.5.0 based on android 11 open the gallery application we still have the two pictures which we had taken open the application drawer we have an app called magisk tap on it make sure you have an active internet connection you do need to upgrade to full magisk so select ok it is going to download it go into settings allow from this source of course super secure me ui makes you wait five seconds accept go back install package installer select allow tap on the home button and here it is we do have the magisk application and we can now open it tap on hide as you can see magisk version 23.0 latest is also 23.0 so this is the app version and this is the magisk version our device now of course is rooted let us check for safety net it needs to download some proprietary code select okay now safety net is going to fail because eval type is set as hardware now this has nothing to do with magisk as soon as you unlock the bootloader on your device if you check using the magisk apk it is going to fail then as well if and when i do get a fix for this i am going to make a video for that so keep an eye out on the description and on the pinned comment next up let us check whether twrp recovery is still there or not so power off and then volume up and power button at the same time till you see the recovery logo and here it is we still have twrp recovery the only issue is when i go into install nothing is in the sd card so this is where your usb otg comes into the picture so let me go ahead and attach this usb drive of course i think i will have to take the case off before i can attach it without any issues so let us attach the usb drive it has been attached select storage usb otg and there it is you can see it is showing us the contents of the flash drive which means you can use this to flash your roms while the developers figure out the error with the internal storage we are going to skip that step for now go into reboot select system if you get the message of no os installed feel free to swipe to reboot because we haven't made any other changes as in we didn't flash any rom or data system wipe so i think these are just the initial issues with twrp which are going to be ironed out down the line and there it is peeps that is how you install twrp on your poco x3 pro and root it as well and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.